are moving to geometric progression gp as you see on the screen if in a sequence of terms each term is constant multiplier of the preceding term this sequence is called geometric progression the constant multiplier here is known as common ratio there was a common difference in the case of arithmetic progression here it becomes common ratio i will give an example suppose the series 5 25 125 625 etc this second is an example for geometric progression there is a common ratio here the common ratio can be found by the second term divided by first term here it is 5 so 5 is the common ratio it will be known as r here common ratio is abbreviated as r i shall give you a classic example uh, for this type of geometric progression or exponential growth geometric progression can be otherwise known as exponential growth this example is related to the current scenario suppose a covid 19 infected person gives virus to another five person so here five person will give a virus to another five person so 5 into 5 it will become total 25 person these 25 person give virus to another five person each so 25 into 5 125 then it will become 625 so what will be the total number of infected persons after one or three months this is what is actually happening in india and all over the world so uh, take care be safe obey all the directions given by the government and the health department okay coming back to a geometric progression series this geometric progression series may be either an increasing gp or a decreasing gp suppose the sequence 1 2 4 h this is an example for increasing geometric progression here the common ratio is 2 by 1 2 by 1 that is 2 so 1 into 2 2 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 h this is an example for increasing uh, gp there may be a decreasing gp also suppose 4 2 1 1 2 2 such that this is an example for decreasing gp here what is the common ratio 2 divided by 4 second term divided by first term 2 divided by 4 that is 1 by 2 so term for 4 into 1 by 2 half of 4 that is 2 2 into 1 by 2 1 1 into 1 by 2 1 by 2 and such that then if the common ratio is positive then the terms will be having the same sign that is the positive sign suppose 1 2 4 h 16 here the common ratio is 2 so the subsequent terms will be of having the same sign positive sign if the common ratio is having a negative sign the subsequent values will be having alternative positive and negative value suppose 1 minus 2 4 minus h 16 such that here the common ratio is minus 2 that means minus 2 divided by 1 minus 2 here the common ratio is minus 2 1 into minus 2 Minus two, minus two into minus two, four, four into minus two, minus eight, minus eight into minus two, sixteen. Now let us see how to find out the value of n to value of GP. The n to value of GP or n the term of GP, an is equal to ar raised to n minus one. Here, a is equal to first term. first term or scaling factor it is otherwise known as 
scaling factor. R is equal to common ratio. Common ratio. N is equal to total number. Total number of times. Total number of times. Let us do an example. Find out the tenth term of a GP two four eight. Find the tenth term of GP two four eight. Here a is equal to two. R is equal to four by two two. N is equal to or n is equal to ten. N is equal to ten. So let us apply the formula. A n or a ten is equal to a two into r two two into two raised to n minus one ten minus one. So a ten is equal to two into two raised to Nine. So a ten is equal to two into two raised to nine, five hundred. So a ten is equal to one thousand and twenty-four. Five hundred twelve into two. Let us do one more example. Find out the tenth term of GP five twenty-five one hundred and twenty-five such that. Here. Series is five, twenty-five, one hundred and twenty-five. The first term A is five. R is common ratio. R is twenty-five divided by five. Twenty-five divided by five. Second term divided by first term five. N is equal to ten. We are required to find out the Ten the term, so n should be taken as ten. So a ten is equal to a r ratio n minus one. A is equal to five five into five a common ratio. Here is five raised to ten minus one. So a ten. Is equal to five into five raised to nine. We have to work out this one first. So a ten is equal to five into five raised to nine equals nineteen lakh fifty three thousand one hundred and twenty five. So a ten is equal to Five into ninety lakh fifty thousand one hundred twenty five equals ninety seven lakh sixty five thousand six hundred twenty five. This is the answer.